Hi everyone, welcome to part 10 of our coronavirus boredom fighting video series. Today we are going to photograph oil on water and I promise you will love that. Let me quickly run you through everything you need for today's image. You will sure have everything at home. First of all, a camera. I'm going to use the Sony A5100 with the kit lens. Then I will use a tripod. You don't have to. If you don't have a tripod, watch video number five, where I explain in detail how to use two wooden spoons instead of a tripod. Then, of course, we're going to need some oil. I have put some rape oil into a glass and I'm going to use a fork or a syringe to bring that oil into the water. Then, of course, we need a tablet. If you don't have a tablet, a smartphone will work or even a notebook. A spoon and some dishwashing liquid. And finally, two equally sized boxes. First of all, we're going to set up our tablet. I'm going to use one of our beautiful gradients. You can download them. I will provide the link in the description. And make sure that the brightness of the tablet is at maximum. Next, we will put our two boxes onto the tablet, like that. And our glass onto the boxes. Next, I set the camera. I'm going to use an ISO of 100 to get the best possible image quality. My aperture to the lowest value I can. And for shutter speed, I'm going to choose something around 1 tenth. And then it's time to get the oil into the water. I'm going to use the syringe. If you don't have one, you can use the fork. And I will carefully put some oil bubbles into the water. The problem is the bubbles get very big and you cannot really control them. All you can get is these kind of shots. That's not what we expected, right? But to get there is rather easy. Just add one drop of dishwashing liquid. Now the oil drops are much better defined and you can create beautiful structures. If you feel like the bubbles are losing their form again, just add another drop of dishwashing liquid. So far so good, we got some really nice images, but we had to crop all the time. Now what if we used a macro lens instead of the kit lens? The macro lens has the advantage that I can get closer to those oil bubbles and therefore create a bigger magnification. With the macro lens attached, you get some really great shots. Here is an even better tip. What I found out during my experiments is that radial gradients work even better for oil photography than linear gradients. And it gets even better. Choose a radial gradient ball on a white background and you will get this kind of shot. You can download all those backgrounds for free in the link in the description. So much for today's video. In the next video, we are going to photograph awesome pictures of a nose spray.